folks, this is all the fruit. And since the feijoa or pineapple guava is quite a new and unusual fruit for Germany, here I want to do a yearly update. I'm again at my go-to place for this fruit near the back barn or the funicular in Heidelberg. <laughs> if you ever come to Heidelberg and want to harvest them near funicular, they grow under the Himalaya palm. Well, those shrubs must already be a couple years old, but I saw them for the first time last year and harvested a lot, maybe 10, 12 kilograms, and there was still a lot more to harvest. I think I ate this fruit for the first time like 20 years ago, and I was taught in, in Bavaria or around Stuttgart, you can find them more commonly in supermarkets. They are still rare, but you can find them. Here I've never seen them at supermarkets, but as you can see, they are growing around here. Yeah, they're a little bit tricky because, uh, well, if you look like this, you might not see a single fruit. If you look closer, you will see that some of those leaves are actually in 3D. They have the same shape and color as the leaves, but they are fruits. Maybe a little bit less than last year, but yeah, still more than enough. I was told that if you want to be sure to get the ripe ones, you collect the ones from the ground. But somebody else told me that, yeah, of course, all the rats and cockroaches and other critters, they will be all over them. So, oh, let's collect a couple from the shrubs. The question is, which are good? Those here, I've harvested pineapple guavas of this size. Actually, I did harvest them like eight years ago in Tenerife in a non-well fertilized plant and a lot of the fruits were this size. But those are definitely too small. What about this? Ah, it came off easily. Average size for pineapple guavas around here. What about this one? Uh, no, this one I had to pull a little bit more. Uh, this came off easily again. What about those three here? No, those four. Uh -huh. Two came off easily, the other two not so easily. Oh. Well, let's go between the branches. Yeah, I'm breaking a couple branches, unfortunately. What about those two? Quite big ones. Yeah, ripe enough. Uh -huh. Yeah, the rats. I guess it's the rats. No, somebody broke it, so it's probably a person. So I'm not the only one harvesting this well. I taught the girl a couple days ago. She liked them a lot. I told her the place. I told her the spot. It's totally possible that she was here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it seems like somebody was in here and has harvested a lot still. There is quite a good number. Let's see how many ripe ones I can collect.